Hello guys, welcome back to another build battle where you guys submit your pictures and videos of your builds. I put them against each other and the winner takes home some free Erase Legacy merch like stickers, air fresheners, jet tags, you name it. Uh, let's go ahead and start with these nine contestants today. Starting off with Jose Gonzalez with his Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX right off the bat. Silverman and Pearl, best color on a 2G in my opinion. Um, I do see he has some blacked out tail lights. I do see some OEM Evo 8 wheels, which is a pretty popular road choice on the 2G DSM. I do see a lineup of stickers in the back, and I do see he's from Utah. So it looks to be pretty much stock from what I can see. So all I see is stock side markers. He does have the OEM mud flaps, which are actually quite rare to see nowadays. Um, and I've wanted to find some for a while. I never really got my hands on some. So uh, I do see a front mount. I do see some like refurbished headlights. Uh, the car looks super clean as it sits. Um, and a car like this will fetch a lot of money. Um, if you're looking to sell it because it's the ones that are pretty much unmolested all i see based off modifications is some clear turn signals uh some evo 8 wheels he kept it pretty much oh yeah plus um and i know the side mirrors in the back are also carbon kevlar so that's pretty cool uh we go over to the engine bay i do see the color theme he was going for here he was going for the silver and purple so he has the dc bar which he i guess powder coated purple the valve cover is purple he has the radiator mount uh brackets in purple i don't like how he did the purple on the uh hood latch portion of it and he also made the hood prop purple so i do think it's a little bit too much for my style but i do like how he kept it pretty consistent throughout so i also see he has an fp cast manifold he is on speed density do see that he has pretty much a lot of like titanium hardware have you guys noticed that torque solution motor mounts which are pretty much essential because these cars are so old to the point where i'm pretty sure if you look at your motor mounts they're pretty much blown so okay so here we have a picture of the interior he has the carbonetics uh carbon fiber evo steering wheel which is an option it's basically an overlay a double din stereo on a 2g which i think is the perfect setup he does have a carbon fiber overlay on the cluster which i think you can find on ebay still i'll try to find it for you guys but i think it was like 20 bucks so it's a really nice upgrade for you guys if you guys are trying to keep it cheap he also has carbon fiber overlay all over the interior now this picture right here is a straight up flex because he powder coated his rear all-wheel drive subframe he does have a solid bushings on there he has a powder coated sway bar and he has some really nice suspension uh from volk so it's honestly a really good uh, upgrade to have for your 2g i personally don't have it on my car but um if the guys over at volk want to you know shoot me a dm we could work something out but pretty sweet stuff from what i can see he pretty much refurbished the whole hands which is pretty sweet you could tell based off uh the powder coated uh, rear subframe all right so here we have an interior picture he does have a set of carbo bucket seats which in my opinion is a really good brand so he did make a good choice on that i also see he has a blacked out uh hood liner on top which i wish i could do to my 2g i'm not sure if they sell them like that or i'm pretty sure he got it reupholstered somewhere uh, but it does look super super cool it goes with the interior pretty well really good attention to detail in my opinion really well done car what would i do if this was mine i would for sure get rid of the tinted tail lights in the rear i've never been a fan of that on any car go back to the oem red or the edm or the jdm tail lights uh, besides that there's not really much i would do maybe go with a more aggressive fitment that's just me though uh, but i could see how he's keeping the car super oem plus uh, and of course side skirt extensions front lip even from amazon those are pretty cheap they're like 100 120 bucks uh maybe tint your windows a little bit i do like my cars with tinted windows except for the evo i mean it is pretty clean from what i can see i think i see another 2g in the back i'm pretty sure that's an eclipse or a talent so he is an active dsmer as he has a, a dsm in the garage on jack stance from what i can see um as far as engine bay i'd probably make some of the parts black it's a little bit too much purple for me but besides that one out of ten a solid eight man uh next person we have eddie johnson with another srt4 so i didn't know so many of you guys actually had srt4s but this one's super clean so i do love them in black they just look so damn aggressive he has a carbon fiber hood carbon fiber fenders i think those are the stock oem wheels if i recall i'm not too sure though he has some sort of carbon fiber lip the carbon fiber fog light covers he even has the carbon fiber front mesh so he pretty much balled out on the carbon fiber parts as far as the back goes he has a carbon fiber uh trunk with a little duck bill which in my opinion is the best looking trunk for those cars he does have tinted tail lights which i'm not a fan of and he has a carbon fiber rear diffuser carbon fiber rear spats carbon fiber side skirt extension so it's it's pretty sweet in my opinion actually so i do like this car a lot what would i do if this was mine i would probably go with a more aggressive uh carbon fiber hood with some vents on it uh probably cut out the mesh i do like the intercooler to just kind of show a lot more like the 2g's do i think it just looks way more aggressive that way probably be a little
little riser and put you know some yellow jdm film on the uh on the fog lights i don't know i've always liked that look but it's super clean car maybe change out the wheels uh for some reason i never really saw the srt4s in any like racing video games like need for speed and stuff like that i wonder why i know it's american but um these have always kind of been like low-key I don't really see people build them and I've always loved these right next to the uh, Cobalt Supercharged, the Supercharged one, the SS's. I've always liked those too. It's kind of weird, but the SRT4 and the Cobalt SS uh, are kind of like my American tuner uh, favorites. One to ten, eight and a half, just because I'm a big fan of the SRT4s. It's probably the color that I would choose. He has a carbon fiber trunk, which is the main thing I would change. And he has the uh, very common angry eyelids on there and he has a lot of carbon fiber. So very well done to Eddie, eight and a half for me. Probably put some bucket seats in there. I feel like when you mod a car, there's, there's always something to change uh but this one is super super clean to me all right so next submission we have john brassington with his mitsubishi lancer evolution 7 so we didn't get this car in the states the evos didn't come out to the u.s until we got the evo 8s from 2003 to 2015 with the evo 10s so the evo 7s kind of like a novelty here they're kind of cool to see around so based on what i can see as far as modification he has some wheels he has the carbon fiber fender add-on there he has the carbon fiber uh side skirt extensions carbon fiber gas cap carbon fiber i don't know what you call this right here in the back of the side skirt but i have that on my evo as well i'm not really a fan of how the evo 7 looks but it's pretty sweet i like how we put the evolution 7 on the side gives it a very evil look um, as far as engine bay as you guys can see super similar to the 8 and 9 uh it looks pretty stock from what i can see i see intercooler piping okay so i do love the valve covers on the evo 7s i do have that same valve cover on my dsm because it says evolution on it it does have a catch can of some sorts uh, and he has like an epexy covering his intake so it looks pretty mild from what i can see he does have a different aftermarket strut bar uh, but i feel like he's probably on the stalker side of things so pretty cool car overall one to ten uh solid eight it's it's a clean looking evo uh, you can't negate that so so next we're gonna go on to ifla media which if you guys don't know he is my video editor for some of my videos mainly the ones where i do these type of headshot videos so he's out in texas and he has a two different eclipses so i know the orange one on the right is a gsx let's look at that one first it looks to be a 2ga in the color orange i know that's not an OEM color so i think he painted it white gnc wheels so he has a smiley face which some people prefer but for the most part everyone does the 2gb conversion which is basically the eclipse from 97 to 99 just looks a lot more aggressive the 95 and 96 eclipses they look just kind of more tame and kind of more happy uh what would i change if this was my car I'd be like everyone else, go to a 2GB conversion. Uh, definitely get that side skirt piece that's missing on this side there. Um, how do I feel about the color? I don't know. Like, you don't really see it, these colors, but I've never been a fan of orange. But it looks clean. It looks well taken care of. All right, so let's talk about his other Eclipse that he submitted, uh, which is a purple Eclipse. Now, I'm not sure on the trim level, but based on what he's telling me, he's trying to replicate the Fast and the Furious Eclipse. So I'll go ahead and post a picture here for you guys. If you guys don't know, if you guys never played the game, um, he's basically trying to replicate the same look uh, from the intro of need for speed underground which is pretty nostalgic so i've never seen anyone do this i know there's another dsmer that copied the orange one which i know he did a submission so i'll be looking over that one soon he sent me a picture of basically like the, he got the same paint coat already he has a livery ready and based on what he told me i think he's trying to finish this before christmas so i'll go ahead and link his youtube channel down below i know he has one as well and he's documenting his uh his progress here we have a frontal picture of the car he does have the aftermarket uh headlights the aftermarket bumper aftermarket side skirts and as you guys no, I don't really like body kits on 2G Eclipses, but when you're trying to do replicas of something else besides the Fast and the Furious Eclipse, that to me is very cool. It, it brings back the nostalgia, and I've never seen someone do this, so I'm actually pretty excited to see how he pulls this off. Uh, I'm not sure on those wheels. I don't know the brand. They look pretty similar to the other one, so he's trying to get it as close as possible with what he has to work with. Definitely redo the uh, the window uh, strips there. They tend to go out as soon as the sun hits them over time. They fade, and they're discontinued, so you can't get them, so take care of them as much as you can. It if you have a 2G that sits outside, try to at least get a car cover for it. So, so as far as rating his cars, the orange one, it's a solid seven and a half just because it's a 2GA. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the orange. I'm intrigued by the other one, the purple one, because I'm actually curious to see how it's going to turn out. I'm pretty sure if he pulls it off pretty good, it's going to be a very sweet car. Um, I'll give that one a solid eight as of right now. But if he could pull it off just as the one from Need for Speed Underground, it's up there in the 9mm just because it's, it's, it's a very cool thing to see. Up next, we have Elote underscore 
Evo 9 with a super clean Evo, man. I love the graphite gray on these cars. It's always been my favorite color on them just because it looks so aggressive. I love that hood. I usually liked the other style of hood, but after seeing on, on his with it being paint matched with a carbon fiber exposed, it just gives the car such an aggressive touch. He, we also have the same fenders, which are the vented VAR style ones. Um, I do have mine from Carbonetics, and I think his are from either Vars or somewhere else, but he does have some pretty sick work wheels, which look really good. He has the Evo 9 JDM headlights, which is a must-have headlight for an Evo because I think the JDM headlights just look the best with the orange on them. He has the carbon fiber uh, side ducts, which I have as well. So this car is pretty similar to mine. Uh, based off the engine bay picture, he does have a hood dump and a BS Fav manifold coil rad radiator. We also have the same colon plug kits. I'm pretty sure he built the engine bay up, which is what we're doing next. So, And once we're done with the engine, I do want to focus on aesthetics, kind of how he did. So he also has the same carbon fiber spoiler gurney flap that I put on my car at one point. I only think this gurney flap looks good with a rear diffuser because it's just so tall. If you don't have a diffuser on the Evo, it just looks very uneven. It looks top heavy. So I ended up taking mine off. I do plan on putting it back on once I have like a virus diffuser on there or something. So I do see he's from Virginia. I love the play. It says side chick, which for us car guys or cars are kind of like the side chicks to our main girlfriends. But he has a Voltex carbon fiber exhaust cover and he has some pretty sick tail lights. I don't know where they're from, but I know those are custom. Um, um, and his fitment's pretty decent. Like, I actually like this car. He has a Voltex diffuser. I've never seen that third brake light. That's actually pretty sweet. I do like this color a lot. It, re it resembles mine a lot in many ways. And it's really nice to see graphite gray Evos look like this. And props to him. This is a solid nine and a half just because I'm very fond of the color. I'm very fond of the Evo 9s. And he knows what he's doing when it comes to modification. So what would I do if this was mine? It's kind of tough, man. Um, probably change the front lip to the one I have now. Go with my wheels instead. Go back to the Evo 7 tail lights. Go with the Vars diffuser. I don't know. Basically make it more like mine. Uh, but this is pretty much, this. we have very similar style as far as modifications. So props to him. Um, I do like this car a lot. And here we have a rolling shot. Damn, this just looks so clean. Like just imagine seeing an Evo on the street looking like this. Like you're going to turn heads everywhere. A really well done car. Up next, we have a Daniel Savala with a super clean black 2G. Something about the black eclipses with that front lip and a front mount just looks so good. They just look very like menacing. Uh, based off looking at the rear, he has the Carbonetics rear carbon fiber spats. He has uh, the Carbonetics rear window visor, which I'm kind of 50-50 on. I personally wouldn't rock it on my car, but it does look clean on some cars. And he kept the same OEM uh, headlights, which to many is just a clean setup. I'm not sure on what wheels they are and he does have some sort of tire letters, which I'm 50-50 on again because I have had tire lettering on my Evo at one point, and it looks really cool when you're driving the car. So um, I ended up just rubbing them off because I do rub in the rear. Uh, but what would I do if this was mine? For sure, for sure, take off the fender to bumper quick release thingies. I've never been a fun fan of those. I don't know why you would need any if, if that too. Um, I just think it kind of ruins the shape of the body. Like if you didn't have those on there, man, like oh, the front end would just look perfect. He has a blacked out... Uh, side markers which i'm actually not a fan of but it goes super well with the car it just looks blacked out just get rid of the stickers i mean it's, that's all i would do it's just kind of simple i'm not sure on the brand of the wheels but of course like if you put some t37s on that thing because it's the same style dude this car would be a solid 10 but this car is just beautiful man this is a solid nine just do those little details and but then again you don't have to do what i tell you because it's your car at the end of the day but that's just what i would do but very beautiful car man I, honestly i love it it's, it's very well done all right so up next we have a raise a dsm with a silver minion pro 2g i'm not sure if it's a turbo model or not but i know it's not an rs it looks to be a gs based off the uh, rear antenna and rear wiper he does have the european style mirrors if you guys don't know mitsubishi eclipses come with two sets of mirrors you have the usdm which is what we get here and then you have uh, these a uh, euro style mirrors which basically fold in but they're a little bit bulkier they're a little bit bigger i do see he has some raised wheels i'm not sure if they're te 37s but they look pretty similar and another thing that european eclipses got was the little uh side marker like on there so i'm not really a fan of it i probably just get rid of that uh but then again that's personal preference he does have the cupra front lip and it looks to be like it's an na 4g 63 so what would i do if this was mine for sure put a 2gb high rise wing on it i feel like it'd make the car look just that much more aesthetic go with a little more aggressive fitment as far as like the wheels they do seem to be like a higher offset remove the front plates i do like the front lip 
kept it clean and simple solid eight eight and a half just because it's a clean 2g uh but yeah definitely try to look into putting a 2gb high rise on that thing it'd look way cleaner like that this picture looks like it's straight out of a video game super cool car man it just looks super sick on the track i wish i could take my car to a track like that it's just i'm sure i'm sure it handles just as well as as, as you think it should so all right up next we have emperor gsx which is another local dsm owner i know it recently broke down on him and I know he also has a YouTube channel, so I'm going to link his stuff down below. So if you're watching this, man, start working on this thing. People want more DSM content. Uh, I'm not sure if he blew the engine or something, but something happened to it. So he does have the carbon fiber hood. He has the carbon fiber inlet for the headlight, which is basically air that could go straight to your intake for the GST and GSX models. He has a front lip. He has the Evo 8 uh, inky wheels. He has the 2GA, which is a 95 to 96 uh, side skirt. So I'll probably upgrade that to the 2GB, which is the 97 to 99 because they look a little more aggressive it's basically a blacked out eclipse gsx so he has the carbon fiber trunk the carbon fiber spoiler carbon fiber centerpiece he has the edm tail lights carbon fiber gas cap and carbon fiber carbonetics diffuser so he's pretty much carboned out what would i do if this was mine uh probably put some brembos on it put the 2gb side skirts on there and then get the side skirt extensions clean car overall what would i rate this you're a solid eight and a half just because i've seen it in person it's clean dude uh just get it running asap please we need more dsms up next we have a nathan craycroft with a super clean first generation a 3000 gt based off the rear picture i can tell that it's an sl i feel like the fitment just goes so well with it especially with the paint like this paint and this fitment just kind of goes with the car i could see it more as a cruiser it looks super clean man it's just oem he has i'm not sure what wheels those are but i think they're like work they might be work wheels Wheels. um super deep dish though i do like the fitment stretch tires a little bit he's from california as well i do like the color the paint seems to be in good condition and it just looks like a cruiser man like this is a daily i daily it so one to ten seven and a half just because i'm not a fan of the stance but it's a clean car now if i had to choose a winner for this one it's a close tie between a daniel savala with his 2g just because i love the black 2g like that but i just have a soft spot for elote evos 9 graphite gray evo because it looks super similar to mine uh, his engine base kind of where i want to go to within the direction as far as mine goes i love that hood on there and it's just like the wheel fitment is perfect the rear end looks super good like it's just it's well done it's well executed it's something that i would modify and it's probably my favorite out of the bunch so elote evo 9 reach out to me or i'll reach out to you for your merch with stickers and air fresheners and stuff like that and if you guys are interested in any of them yourself i do have the link in the description um and if you feel like i kind of went over yours you're always free to resubmit it. there's a lot of you guys on there so stay tuned if you submit it just be patient i'll try to get to all of you guys and if you guys are interested in seeing the other subscriber build battles i'll go ahead and link them right here at the end of the video and i'll see you on the next vlog